Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video lecture, we are discussing a question that has been asked in the CS Video University exam in 2016. The question is like this. When a system is taken from state A to state B along the path a, C, B, 84 kilojoule of heat flows into the system and system does 32 kilojoule of work. Then the question wants to know how much will be heat that flows into the system along the path A, D, B if work done is 10.5 kilojoule. Also, it says that when the system returns from B to A along the curved path B to A, this path like this, the heat work done on the system on the system is 21 kilojoule. Now it wants to know does the system absorb or liberate heat and how much. In the last part of the question it wants to find out what is the heat absorbed in the process AD and DB if QA is 0 and QD is 42 kilojoule. Right? The figure is given along with the question. Right? Now, first we have to write down the given quantities. So, given things. First, it says 84 kilojoule of heat flow into the system along the path ACB. So QACB is 84 kilojoule that is heat flows into the system right therefore it's positive and the system does 32 kilojoule of work when a WACB is 32 kilojoule okay now for along the path ADB work done is W A D B as 10.5 kilojoule okay it is also given and when it returns from B to A along the curved path the work done on the system is 21 kilojoule means work done on the system that means it will be negative a b w b a work done along the path from b to a so work done will be from b to a b to a that is a is final b is the initial for this it's minus 21 kilojoule right now we have to find out what are the things we have to find out to find first it says that you find out Q A D B right flow along how much heat that flow into the system along path A D B right also it says that you should find out heat is absorbed or liberated and how much heat is absorbed or liberated along the curved path when it returns from B to A right so Q B A and lastly it find, wants to find out Q A D and Q D B if U A is 0 and U D is 42 kilo joule right so now we will start with the question I am putting this in in this position so that I, we can see the given uh, values okay right first I want to draw the diagram here also so that we can uh, easily see 
the processes so the diagram is like this like this it's a it's b it's c it's d it's like this it's like this and for written process it is like this pv right now we have the given values here and we have the diagram it also with us right now for adb for adb now see q a d b is what for this QADB is final position because uh, for any uh, internal energy change in internal energy is, is as it is a property that means the difference between the initial and final final and initial stage right so UB minus UA plus WADB right for this uh, I can write it like for uh, path a d b right now do we know this yes we know this from here we have this value does we know this no we don't know this so how can we get this see we have uh, for path a c b we have both uh, heat and work done so from there we can get because internal energy is a property and it only uh, rely on the state difference between the state not on the path so we can find out the change in internal energy from there for path a c b q a C B is equal to uh, U B minus U A. As I said, that uh, internal energy uh, only relates on the difference between the state, not on the path. W A C B. Right. So we have the values. Eighty four is equal to U B minus U A plus 32 kilojoule right so u b minus u a is equal to 52 kilojoule right now we can put this in our this equation right so q a d b is equal to 52 plus we have the value from here 10.5 that means it's 62.5 kilojoule okay we got this answer right this is your answer now we need what qba for path ba qb a is equal to as I said internal energy only con uh, relates with change in state so it will be the final state UA minus initial state B plus W B A C U A minus U B we can find out from here that is what is uh, it is UB minus UA so just reverse then it will be minus 52 right so minus 52 and work done we know as minus 21 kilojoule so this one will be minus 73 kilojoule means this is the amount of uh, heat which will be liberated heat will heat liberated 
for path b to a right so from here we got this now we want to know the final means we got this as our answer for the second part so we got this q b a now for the third part for the process ad and db right so for that we want to find out what your heat absorbed for path ad okay qad is equal to right qad is equal to ud minus ua there is a change in internal energy which relates only on the state right because it's a property okay wad now we know this the it says that if ua is 0 and ud is 42 now we have to find out or we have to find out wad so how will we finding out wad see uh, what is wad if we talk about this process uh, for the uh, path w, uh, adb right so wadb which means it will be equal to what wad plus w db right we know this value we know this value as w a db as 10.5 kJ right means we are just summing up the work done for this process and this process so we can get the work done for this so like this we got this so 10.5 5 is equal to wad we have to find out wad and what's w db c for db process as it is a system and it's a constant volume process constant volume process for so constant volume process work done for a closed system is zero so we can mention it as zero because constant volume process work done is zero so wad is what 10.5 therefore qad will be 42 Minus zero plus ten point five. That means it will be fifty two point five kilojoule. Okay, we got this. Now for path A D B, the heat will be Q A D B, which can be uh, sum up with Q A D and Q. db right q ad plus q db q ad we got 52.5 q db we need to find out and q ad we have calculated just before uh, so it's 62.5 that is q db is equal to 10 kilojoule this is your final answer